It's too fast! How could you even tell what's on? Uh, sometimes I get upset over sports stuff. The Yankees are going to choke this year. <laughs> Did you know that? Let's just call it a day. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm okay. All right. All right. I've been training for weeks for my big chance. I've been reading, taking tests, jumping in cold water, and wearing this goofy gear. Why? I'm going in that tank and swim with those sharks and probably get eaten on live TV. About 15 sharks, but I hope they're not hungry. Tuesday morning, 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Good Day Sacramento. Oh, God. All right, well, we're going to check back with you in a little bit, so you be there, all right? Can I tell you a little secret just between you and me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My wetsuit just got a little bit warmer. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll just wait here. You check in on me from time to time, won't you? <laughs> all right, you. Don't all right. you leave me in here, okay? To be expected. All right, we'll see ya. I don't want to have to own a chunk of Six Flags Marine World. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Back to you. You know, the doctor said, please don't pick at it. It's going to become infected. <laughs> it was so right. Would you look at this? It's awful. That's right. Mark Allen joins us live via video phone from somewhere in Los Angeles. Good morning, Mark. <laughs> Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Marianne. <laughs> surprised that considering you're only in Los Angeles that there's this much of a delay. Yeah. How do you explain that? <laughs> yes, I'm in a remote area of Los Angeles. That would explain the delay. Uh, uh, would that also explain the cornfield in the background? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Will you take your shirt off while you do it? Will you take your shirt off while I do it? No. He's mic'd. Will you take I my won't. shirt off while I'm I do mic'd. it? I'm mic'd. I'm not allowed to. Uno, dos, tres. Wow. You're good at that. It scares me. <laughs> Talk about funny and erotic. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, I share something in common with him. You don't want to make me angry. In fact, I'm angry right now. Is it working? Am I turning green? Nothing? And by the way, since I can't be with my kids today on Father's Day, would you guys be my adopted children? Sure. sure. Okay, but I think you should get on the first airplane and get home. I'm going to. Okay, this. good. But for now, will you be my adopted yes, children? Yes, absolutely. And then could I pretend that maybe you've been naughty and could there be spanking involved? <laughs> Some guy just offered it for 20 bucks. This has nothing to do with the film. This is what happens if you get Botox off of eBay. Don't do it. Nice to see you. Good to see you. So I love the movie, and I, I tell you I love the movie, yet still you do this to me. I know. Well, it was just because you asked a funny question, so I had no choice. I had to kind of uh, rough handle you a little bit. First of all, hi, everybody. How are you? Hey, what's happening? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm a member of the press. I'm a jaded critic. I see hundreds of movies every year. With that said, may I speak with candor? Please. Yes. This is f***ing awesome. <laughs> this is the best day of my entire life. Death shall come on swift wings to him who disturbs the peace of the king. You know, those are the words of Priscilla Presley. And also, the same curse that was rumored to have been inscribed on King Tut's tomb unearthed in 1922. Ten years later, 21 people associated with the discovery were dead due to mysterious causes. Coincidence? I don't really know. Nonetheless, I'm here in the British Museum in London where they house hundreds of real mummies. We're talking real dead people all around me. But forget about those. I also went behind the scenes of the London set of The Mummy Returns to see how those filmmakers have avoided that same curse. So far. So far. So far. They found him! In this movie, you're the uh, Scorpion King. And right there, I think that says it all. Like, if it was the Bunny King or the, <laughs> the Woodland Squirrel King, you might be a good guy, but I'm guessing you're the bad guy. The bad guy. By the way, how can you stand there so calmly? Don't you realize that not only am I a little hors d'oeuvre, but you're a meal for this guy. You're not worried? <laughs> Thank you. It's polo sport. <laughs> Have you ever thought of a tongue scraper? Tomorrow, meet Grammy-winning Destiny's Child, Beyonce knows Austin Powers' secret sexy sidekick. And I'm a whole lot of women. <laughs> it's Gold Member Week, and I'll be face-to-face -face with Foxy Cleopatra, Beyonce Knowles, tomorrow on Good Day Sacramento. <laughs> He put a fart machine there so, you know, we can get the real feel for how it will be. Uh -huh. But th the farts were going off at inappropriate times. 
and it was the most hysterical thing because he, you know, it'll be in between our lines and the big would come through. And it, I know it sounds crazy and gross, but it was very funny at the time. <laughs> you know, I've done a lot of these interviews, and in my history of doing these interviews, you're the first person that can look elegant and beautiful while saying the word fart over and over again. <laughs> oh, God, thank you. Can I ask you one last semi-personal question? Bring it. Uh, you're one of the most powerful people in the industry. You're at the top of your game. Men want to be you. Women want to be with you. <laughs> Why braces? Why now? Why what, braces? The sure has been holding you back. <laughs> Is there anything that parallels the life of a celebrity? I mean, being difficult to make a connection with people in a real way because of the, uh, the industry you've chosen? You know what? That's a really good question. This is like a milestone for me. This is the first time anyone said, hey, that's a good question. <laughs> okay. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Thanks for meeting me at the track. <laughs> I just wanted to share the sound with you a little bit, that's all. That's okay. I lost my high-end hearing a long time ago. What did you do to make sure that his pure comic genius was seen on film? I always just listened to him. I always just made sure. That's a good question. Thanks. <laughs> could, could you do me a favor? I think you could much better handle this interview. Right. Would you mind? Yeah. yeah Slipping yeah, in? Too. Okay. There we go. So, in terms of working with Ben, yeah, what was it that you learned from Ben? Hey, just so I can say in person, I saw you in action. Would you just randomly pick someone and kick their ass right now? Yes, I find one. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Did okay. I really hurt him? I'm all right. Bye bye. Steve, are you there? Hi. Yeah, can you hear me, all right? Yeah, we can hear you just fine. Can you hear me okay? No. Man, I just see I can no longer feel my left hand. Hey! Doc weighs 800 pounds, 800 by the way. 800 pounds! All right. Right now, I've got my hand on the oar. Wait a minute, that's not the oar! Wait Excuse a minute! Me. Okay, the oar was over here the whole time. And thanks to both of you for not yeah. kicking my ass. Good to see you. Why do you do that?